Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. The one thing we all have in common is that we all go through difficulties in our lives. Now, a lot of people may think, and my subscribers may think that, do you know what, Bradley's really, really blessed, he's quite cocky, he's quite confident, and actually that it's been gifted to him. Do you know what, it really, really hasn't. And to be quite honest, in my own personal battles, I've worked very, very hard to be able to find a positive outlook on the situations I go through life. The one thing I love to try to do on my channel is be motivational. But the thing is there is contents and there is substance behind my motivational speaking. It's to help people through the things which I have been through. It's that sharing, it's that caring, as cheesy as it sounds. When I was going through a lot of problems, uh, it's, it was around about the same time I started my channel. And back then it was hearing issues. Uh, my hearing was declining. I've lived with hearing issues most of my life and particularly all of my adult life. I've tried many hearing aids and just the aspect of living with a hearing condition uh, really does have an impact on me even now. And I'm 31 years of age and this started I think when I was around about 12, 13, around that time, so as I'm sure you'll agree, a real poignant and very important time in a young person's life. When education should be ramping up and desires of what you're gonna be studying at in high school, all of those things going on. But yet for me, there was a mix of health problems going on as well. And I feel in a way, Yes, it robbed me of quite a few things, but it also empowered me from a young age, almost as an older head on my shoulders, as to speak. Um, I felt that I had to grow up much more quickly uh, to deal with those issues. And I think that even though that was negative, I think the positive light in that horrible situation is that actually it grew me in areas of my life, which I press upon those skills in my adult life and even now. I've had to be really quite switched on, really quite serious and extremely sensible throughout a lot of my life. There's times where I wish that I could have spent a little bit more time enjoying a situation, almost the analogy of letting your hair down, breathe a little bit more, laugh a little bit more, be in the moment a little bit more. And as I go into my 30s, that's what I'm really trying to concentrate on. But the one thing what I wanted to talk to you about today is something which a couple of days ago I was feeling quite down quite low with a couple of things I've been going through lately and it's been a really hectic time and I always find whenever we're going through hectic times in our lives or we're going through particularly stressful events in our lives we can almost uh, we can almost not pay enough attention to our own well-being and our own mental health so we can kind of almost be being a little bit um, disencouraging and almost sort of just not necessarily taking care of ourselves enough. And you could possibly say in terms of mental health and well-being, that's been me for the last couple of weeks. So two days ago, I wrote down on a sticky note and sometimes I do this, just scribble it down, personal, personal notes. And uh, in front of me on my desk where I work and I wrote down, we fall, we get up, we go again, you've got this. Um, sometimes I talk about these little things on my channel when I write them down, these little notes, um, what they mean, and if they've got me through it or if it's worked, then I will talk about it on my channel. Do you know what? I think the one thing which we've all got in common in this life is that we go through a lot of storms. And I use that analogy, storms, because they do pass. When we go through difficult times in life, they do pass. Now, it's very easy for me to say that, but in the sort of, in the brink of all of it, when all of that is going on, it's really easy to think that actually it's just you. And it's really easy to think that, you know what, this is never ever gonna end and it's the end of your life and, and you can't deal with it. And it is, and I've been in that situation. And you know what, you have to have gone through quite a few storms to come out the other end and see that they do pass and it does grow you and it does get you a little bit stronger. But I think from my sticky note, what I want to talk to you about today is we fall. Now we all fall in this life, don't we? Hopefully, not physically, down on the ground. However, we do fall in life, whether it be emotionally, whether it be mental health, whether it be well-being, whether it be family issues, we all go through so much. Now, all of these things make us the incredible people we are, but of course it takes a lot to get back up when we do fall. And let's be honest, when we do fall, some of us aren't as quick to get back up and it really does stretch us and it does grow us even though we don't think it at the time it does grow us as a person and we get back up so we fall we get back up we try our best and i like to think that i'm not a particularly strong person but i am a person what gives 
100% in everything I do, and my family is everything to me. When we go through life, those who we love and those who we hold dear to our heart, you do anything for them. You do anything for them. So in my family, I've seen people in my, in my life who mean the world to me go through difficulties. Now, it's not something which, of course, I would, I would go into because that's their personal battles, their storms. But I've been privileged to be a person to be able to help them through their difficulties, to be able to help them being that kind of almost the strength of one of my family members or several of my family members as they've been going through their storms. Now, often people may ask or may think that actually when you try to be this person on the channel and you try to give motivational help and you try to help people through the difficulties of their lives, where does it come from? As I've mentioned earlier, it comes from walking through some pretty damn rough storms and getting out the other end and actually being able to appreciate the goodness in life after a, that event. I don't proclaim to be perfect. Nobody is. I truly do believe that the Lord created us all in his own image and he is the perfect one. I strive so hard in life for things to be perfect, sometimes at the detriment of my own health. I manage a number of physical issues and I number, uh, manage a number of issues which don't go away. Um, and sometimes when I'm striving in my career or in my family or just in daily life to, for things to be perfect, it takes a toll. I think it's a very human characteristic and nature to accept the fact that not every day in our life is going to be happy and positive. It's those rocky stepstones in life. So those bad days which grow us and make us stronger and they are not forgetting a stepping stone to where we're trying to get in life. And that's a really important thing I think to hold on to. Now we make mistakes. There's no getting away from that. A lot of people will probably try and sit here and proclaim that actually, do you know what, they don't make mistakes, everything they have done, they've done it through choice. And do you know, I think we've all met people like that in life where it's almost like, and I wish them well, that nothing ever goes wrong. And of course, we wouldn't wish any other way. And everything happens fantastically and they fall on their feet throughout any situation. And if that happens, then God bless you. And that is amazing. And I hope that it continues for you throughout your life. I've not been a person where that's happened to, to be quite honest with you. I've never really particularly been very lucky. Um, so I have to work extra, extra hard at things to get the required sort of um, outcome out of things. And things don't necessarily come easy. Uh, as I say, I manage a number of issues and I really try my best in this life. However, it's not always easy. We make mistakes. And it was a couple of days ago where in my faith, I will always, I'm always uh, talking with the Lord in my prayer and that gives me a lot of direction, it gives me a lot of clarity and it helps me for a lot of difficult situations. But sometimes, unfortunately, things don't just go the way as what we hope them to be in our life and things happen. Now, for me, it can be just small, silly things where I can be trying to get something done or I can be trying to uh, get something done at work and it's just that I really struggle to stay motivated with one thing particularly how I'm feeling or unfortunately through stressing of getting things or trying to get things perfect in life I um, can sometimes be quite guilty of having quite uh, obsessive um, obsessive uh, sort of constraints in my life and then on top of that um, people who sort of manage OCD and obsessions and one thing and another like that, um, you can be quite uh, susceptible to intrusive thoughts. Um, and I often think to myself that actually these intrusive thoughts attack the things we care most about. And um, it can really be quite stressful and sometimes quite traumatic when you're dealing with a number of things in your life as well and you're trying to make sure that your loved ones around you are all well and good and they're healthy and they're all okay and whatever storms they're going through, you're there to support them with. And work for me, I really try to work hard. I don't work in a particularly uh, easy industry. I work in finance and accountancy and that's going really, really well. But sometimes we can sometimes say things to the people who we love or to friends, or we can sometimes not get the outcome we desire out of something we've put so much into in life. And sometimes we just make silly mistakes. And sometimes we say the wrong things. Sometimes we do the wrong things. For me, I take that incredibly person, personal. And I find it really, really hard sometimes when things don't go right. Um, and sometimes I can, I can almost be questioning myself about why didn't I get that right? Why hasn't this 
turned out the way I wanted it to. But I think it's very, very, it's very typical, I think, of us in today's society that we build so much on everything having to be perfect and everything going right that first time. But do you know what? It doesn't. And it's so, so important to realise that we fall, but we must get back up and we go again. And you've got this. Now, that's what I wrote on that post-it note. And through a couple of days ago, I was having um, quite a, an awful day with intrusive thoughts and um, with stress and feeling really quite run down and quite burnt out with things. And unfortunately, I've had um, in the past some issues with seizures and one thing and another. So I've got to be really quite careful with that. And I'm still under the hospital for a number of different health issues as well. So I think it's a mixture of everything and sometimes just juggling so much on plates. So you could say that I do fall down quite often. Um, my prayer and my faith is a lot of strength to me, but sometimes I even feel that I disappoint the Lord there, that I'm going to say I'm going to do something and I don't, and I fall down. But I get back up and I try again. And I like to think that that is the most important thing as well, is that I get back up from it. Sometimes we fall from the path which we've been blessed with in this life. Some of us are blessed with more of a blessing than others. Some of us have to find that path. But it's important to keep getting back up and keep striving to find that path because this is all a blessing. Now, a lot of people may think, well, why do I have to keep getting up? I'm quite happy after I've fallen to sit here in Fester and just stay in this. I've worked so hard. I can't keep doing it. Why should I keep getting back up? Believe you me, my friend, I've been there, but you have to get back up. When you fall, you get back up and you have to go again. You may think, why? Well, because all of this is a blessing and you deserve it. All of this is for the taking. All of this is the blessing in life, the incredible opportunities. Now you may think now, okay, some people get more of an opportunity of others. We are all equal, regardless of what we do, regardless of what we've done, what we have. What I can do, somebody else can't. What I can do, somebody else might not be able to, but we're equal, regardless of the hierarchy of life, whether you're qualified out of your ears or whether you haven't had any education at all, that doesn't make you any other of a person than anyone else. It doesn't make you more of a, a valid individual than anybody else. We are all equal and all of us, whether we like it or not, fall. All of us get things wrong. So it's important that we get back up. We take a deep breath, we shake ourselves off and we go again. Why? Because it's for ours for the taking. We've been blessed with this life, I truly do believe. And as I say, if you're not of faith, think, it, think of it this way. There's only one of you in this world and that makes you absolutely incredibly just, just amazing. There's only one of you. How incredible in this world that there is only one of you. You could travel this world, the breadth and depth of every corner, and there is only one of you in this world. And that makes you amazing. So when you get back up, you owe it to yourself to keep exploring every avenue of this blessing you've been blessed with. And if you are of faith, me is a huge direction. It really, really is. And as I say, sometimes I fall down and I get really quite stressed at times about some things I've shared in my in my prayers and that it hasn't worked out the way I've wanted it to. And that I get really quite low and I get really quite almost shameful in myself that it's not worked out the way it has. But you know what? It's so important to just, sometimes we've got to take time to just restock. And I do that. And sometimes it can be a mixture of emotions and sometimes it can even end in a few tears, you know. But I get myself back up. And I climb back up to that place where I've been blessed, that path I've been blessed with all of my incredible family around me. And I go again. And I don't give, because let's be honest, there is a devil in this world. Look at all the hatred, what goes on. Look at all the horrific things what go on in this world. So I don't give the devil any more of my time. And if you are a little bit not sure how to take of that, when you get yourself so stressed and you beat yourself up and you're nasty to yourself and you speak unkind about yourself. Be careful because you're listening. OK, you're talking about yourself here. OK, you're that amazing person. So when I when you do all those things, giving the devil, you're giving the, the devil your time. Don't be doing that because you're incredible. Talk about yourself as how he talks about you. You're a blessing. You're his creation. And if you're not of faith, 
then just remember, there's only one of you in this incredible life, so you owe it to yourself, because it's yours for the taking. So yes, we fall down, but it's important to get back up. And why? Because you deserve it. And it's all so, so worth it. And on that note, God bless. And be kind to yourself. We all make mistakes. We all fall down. Get back up. Be kind to yourself. Help yourself up. Speak kindly about yourself. God bless you. Take great care. And thanks very much for joining me on this. And on that note, I look forward to seeing you real soon. Bye for now.